Hi everybody, this is um, Violet Charm and I'm here with a new unboxing, a uh, quick review and unboxing of something that is new to me, not new to, not new out there to other people in the witchy community, but this is Lenore Bazaar. This is the first box that I got, um, square box, and I pre-opened it just to make it easier. This box was about $50. I think it was some shipping and handling included, so I guess add on another like $10. So more more like 60 something probably. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the spring retreat box and opening it up, the little card inside looks like with the item descriptions on the back. But it's Spring Witchery from Lenore Bazaar, Spring Summer 2023. Okay, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like eight things in here. And it says that the retail value is $105.64. So let's see if that's the case. So this is the inside with the purple, dark purple, um, or indigo paper. Nice. I heard things, good things about this box, so hopefully it is a good box. Alright, first thing I'm going to grab is, it's like a scroll with a sprig of, it smells like rosemary. Nice touch, it's tied together with some twine and some ribbon. Let's see, let's open this up quickly without destroying it too much. I want this to be a long video. All right. Oh, it's just some. It's pretty tight. Okay, I, I can't skip those. All right, some of the rosemary fell off. That's okay. I'll put it to the side. All right. So that was rosemary. Maybe you can see it. Nice hard paper. I guess I can. Rosemary fairy. Look for the rosemary fairy at Beltane. When the bees are buzzing around plants, if you are lucky, you may catch a glimpse of her in her corner, in the corner of your eye. So this is pretty. And little Rosemary Fay. I don't know if it's a poem. It's just some words, some information there about the Rosemary Fay. So this is pretty. I like this a lot. I'm going to have to put it flat on some, between two books. Um, so I can put it in my grimoire. Or if you want to frame it, it's good quality paper if you frame this. All right, so some noodles, purple stuff, put that to the side. Oh, there's another scroll in here. I'm gonna just slide this one. And this one is, oh, it's lavender. Okay, so information about lavender and the magic of lavender. I like that. I like the paper. Uh, very springy there. Put that to the side. Okay, and what is this? I love the touch here that everything has been wrapped or tied with twine and some like material like ivy leaves. So you can see that. Little card in here. And this says, use this versatile botanical print canvas tote bag oh it's a tote bag for farmers market grocery shopping harvesting flowers and herbs okay so it looks like i'm getting a tote bag and it's again it's been tied in twine that over there oh i like this not too big standard size tote bag and this is the design very pretty, very springtime. Love it. With the little handles on the top. Okay, I can definitely make use of this. I'm liking this. And what's in here? Let's get rid of some of these noodles. Okay, what is this for the trinket box? Looks like a trinket box. Um. Little wooden box, round, two pieces. Oh, this is like to crush herbs or a grinder. 
I put the herbs in here, whatever you want, any herbs that you want to stick it in here and then twist and it'll grind it for you. All right, I like this, very nice. New age imports. Okay, quality products, it says. Like that. And um, this smells pretty, nice springtime candle. It has like a floral, light floral scent, very light votive. Um, the scent, so very green. Um, okay, can't go wrong with that. And let's see what else we got in here. We got a stone. So it's a green jasper honors Persephone, the Greek goddess. In a little purple organza bag. If I can open it up, looks like it's a bit knotted. Okay. So this is it. Nice little chunk. I like the markings. The little swirls in the bottom. The eye over here. It's very nice. I like it. Okay. All right. Nice little stone. Put that there. Okay, so the noodles. The noodles to the side. Big, two big boxes in here, but let's do this one first. Let's do the smaller one. This is pretty. Looks like lavender embroidered on this um like organic canvas kind of cotton bag um, material. Let's see what this is. It's kind of hurry. Smells like lavender to me. And again, it does have lavender in the top. What is this? Can I open it? Oh, so this is like a sachet. No wonder it smells so pretty. So yeah, it's like full of lavender, fresh lavender, and it smells really pretty. So I'm, I'm assuming I can hang this up somewhere. You can stick it in a drawer. I guess anywhere where you want to freshen things up or use the herbs, hopefully, in any spell work if you want to. But I think I might just leave it in there. It's so pretty. All right, lavender sachet, and then this purple box, pretty yeah. purple sticker here, a wildflower. Let's see what this is, a piece of jewelry maybe? Oh, okay. So this is, oh, it's pretty. It looks like it might be handmade. Oh, it's kind of on the light side. There's a little stone on top. I don't know if you can catch it. I think that might be moonstone, but they're mushrooms. Definitely appropriate for this time. And um, looks like it's the same kind of jade or jasper. No, not jade, jasper maybe. Pieces and beads. Not sure if it's sterling and silver. And then it comes with the earrings. And the flowers. And I don't think this is sterling silver. But it is pretty. I'll leave it here. Okay. I mean, it would have been nicer if it would have been sterling silver or stainless steel even. Um, so that it won't turn and tarnish on you. Alright, the last thing in here, I think. Nope, there's one more thing after this. I have another box. And it says it's a cauldron, the planter. So let's open this up if I can. Okay. Oh, I hate this foam. This foam makes a mess. <laughs> I opened it backwards actually. All right. Oh, this is pretty. And it's not plastic or, or like a resin. This is actually ceramic, I think. It's yeah, it feels like it's ceramic. So nice. I did. I recently got um, another, like a pop belly cauldron from another YouTuber that I subscribed. Well, she doesn't do a subscription box, but she had a box, Haunted Treasures. She gave me, um, she got beautiful, like pop belly 
cauldrons, um, pots from France, handmade in purple, which are beautiful. Um, this is more of a standard made in China, unfortunately. And, um, but it is a cute cauldron. I don't have a standard little ceramic one like this. Like with a pentagram. So, it doesn't have any holes. So, if you want to use it for a planter, you... I guess I would have to do a little hole in here very carefully, but most likely I am not going to do that because I just might break it. So I will find another purpose for this, maybe for incense burning. Oh, I have tons of crystal collections of just incense cones. I mean, so many things you could do with this. You could put your jewelry in here if you wanted to. It's anything you want, spell work. So this is cute. I like this, so let me put it back in here. To keep it safe okay I put this to the side and then the last thing in here I mean there are definitely a lot of goodies in here so that's good it looks like it's a book again I like the touches this one has a little sticker of it looks like roses and the leaves here really pretty all right let's see what we got what kind of book we got the sticker. Okay, and the book that we got is so oh that's the witch's cookbook. Alright, 50 wickedly delicious witchcraft inspired recipes from Fortuna Noor. Hmm. So I don't have this one, so that's good. It's very interesting. I love cooking stuff up in the kitchen. So I will definitely take a look at this. Look, it has different sections, breakfast and brunch. Oh, look at that. It has like a quiche, ham and gruyere cheese, quiche plant, planets, earthy, earthy buckwheat crepes. Oh Lord, this is like chock full of nice pictures. Yeah, I'm liking this. Lots of pictures. Lots of yumminess in here. They have appetizers and sides. So I will definitely check out this book. I'm happy I got it. So that was it for this unboxing of Lenore the Star. Springtime. The witch, uh, Witchery Box. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and bless be. Bye.